Number 40. How does the boiling of a liquid differ from its evaporation? Okay, so this basically comes down to the definition of what a boiling point is and what evaporation means. Now, a boiling point, right, how does the boiling of a liquid, so we're talking about a boiling point, and remember, a boiling point is always the point in which a liquid of a certain substance is turning into a gas. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute, Christina, isn't both of these bringing us to the liquid into a gas? Sure, that is true. Both of them are going to be talking about the phase change of going from a liquid to a gas. But a boiling point is a specific temperature. Right, whether a boiling point would be equal to, I don't know, 100 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Celsius or something like that, evaporation is always denoted as either evaporation or vaporization. But when we talk about vaporization, we're talking about heat, not necessarily temperatures. And heat is a form of energy. So, for a boiling point, a boiling point can only occur if the vapor pressure, and vapor is just the fancy way of saying a gas, if the vapor pressure above the gas, because that's how uh, liquids will turn into a gas. It's, if I just draw this quickly, it's always, here's my container, of the of let's just say that this is water right it's always the top of the surface that starts boiling and releasing the gas so it's always the vapor pressure above the liquid uh, the vapor pressure above the liquid has to equal atmospheric pressure whatever that is depends uh, depends on, you know, where you live and, you know, where is this thing boiling? Atmospheric pressure can be different all throughout the world, whether you're living way, way above sea level, if you're at sea level. So by definition, the boiling point is just a temperature. We'll say a temperature in which, so maybe I'll just bring this out here. So I'll say a temperature, oh boy. A, te a temperature in which the vapor pressure above the liquid has to equal the atmospheric pressure. Okay. But now when we're talking about evaporation, this is talking about vaporization. Evaporation, vaporization, and this is always in terms of an energy value, not necessarily a temperature. So it's talking about an energy, and just know that evaporation and vaporization is always an endothermic reaction. So this is why... Um, you know, when you come out of a shower and you suddenly feel really, really, really cold because the water that is evaporating off of your skin is taking all the heat with it, making you feel really, really, really cold. But just know that um, in order to evaporate, you don't have to be equal to the atmospheric pressure. You can be lower than the atmospheric pressure. So your vapor pressure when you're slowly, you know, evaporating, uh, the vapor pressure can be below the atmospheric pressure. But this is your differences between how does the boiling differ from evaporation? So there you go. I hope this helps you out. Let me know in the comments. Let me just bring this into the middle because this is really... There we go. Oh, so much better. But 
Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Thank you for all the support, and thank you for being part of this community. You guys rock, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.